Hello and welcome to the Dynamic Grocery List PHP Style uh, Part 6. And you know, I, I gave this a little bit of thought on the database, so we're back over here at the database, and there's one more field that I really would like to add into this, and that's going to be notes, because uh, quite often, you know, someone will put something in there like uh, get, uh, you know, this particular product, but, uh, you know, maybe they want to explain a little bit more about that because there's, there's variations. But at any rate, I, I just want to put a notes uh, table in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here, add one column. Add, uh, we're going to add this after uh, items. So let's just go ahead and do that. And this column is going to be items underscore note, notes. And this type, we're going to use a text type on this so that this uh, uh, can be as long or as short as we want it to be. And that's all you do there. You just go ahead and do that. And the table's been altered successfully. So uh, let me just hit imp uh, insert and you can see that we have a big long text field here. Uh, this is going to be useful when we go to make our, uh, our form. So now let's get over to the form. And I've put some code into the form here uh, so that I won't have to type it out word by word. But essentially what I've done is where your PHP tag opened and then you had your include PH, connect PHP and include header PHP and then it closed. I've moved that closing tag down and I've done a query of my database. And the query is string, which is dollar sign, result equals MySQL query. And then in parentheses we have parentheses and quotation select all from items where one and I've got a limit 0 30 here which is start with record 0 and go to 30 we're not gonna just limit that to uh, anything we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna take that out right there because I, I did that as a select off of my uh, my SQ or, or off of my PHP my admin uh, and I'll show you real quick how you do that. Let's go to Browse, and then we're going to go to SQL, or no, let's just do Search. And we just search anything. Let's see if it'll just allow us to search everything. Uh, and you can see here where it says Select All from Items, uh, Limit Zero, whatever. But uh, if you go to SQL, it says Select All from Items where One. One equals True. So you can have one or not one in your thing. But anyway, yeah, this, uh, let's just get rid of the where one. Uh, and we're just going to list everything from items. Okay. So let me uh, save that. I'll go over to the page here and make sure that the page is showing the way I want it to. Uh, it looks like it probably is. I don't know why it's just holding up there. But anyway, uh, going back to our document here. All right, first you have your, your query, where you're querying the items. And then you have or die MySQL error. And this can all be on the same line. Backspace that. And give it a space in between there. Okay, now I'm going to set the variable of list. And as you can see here, list exists in three places. List is where we construct our HTML statement that's going to print out on our page you know what we want to print out via the HTML so we start out with list equals and then we just put uh, uh, single quotes around nothing and then we close that off with a semicolon and now here's where we do our while loop while row equals mysql fetch array result in parentheses and then the row and all that is in parentheses then we do a curly brace and during this curly brace this is where it executes all of this code and the code is we're going to break down these arrays list ID equals row items ID and then list item equals row items item okay and then below that which we haven't done because we just set that up in the database we're gonna do string list notes equals string row 
and then our square bracket. We're going to do both those square brackets together. And uh, our double quotes there. And then we're just going to do items. I think that was notes. Pretty sure. Let me take a look. Um, structure. Yes, notes. Okay. So now we have list notes. And uh, so what we're going to do next is we're going to reference that down here where I've just put some content. We don't want to put some content. We're going to put a dot, which is going to allow us to append. We're going to put two dots, actually. And then we're going to put uh, in between those two dots, we're going to put space. Let's see. I'm going to space the dot, too. And then uh, string list notes. Dollar sign. And then space again, and then another space. Not really even sure that space is necessary. Okay, so this then creates our list that we need right here. Now, if we go down below, you can remember where we did the column one start, column one end, and we took everything else out in the middle. So right here we need an open PHP tag, which is uh, less than question mark PHP, and then we're going to type echo and then we're going to echo this list as we've done here. Oh, by the way, going back to this where we opened a curly brace right here, after we've constructed our list, we close the curling brace down here. But anyway, uh, going back to this, this echoes out our list that exists in our while loop. So as long as there's records in our database, this list should print those out on the page. So now let's go back to our database. Actually, before I forget, let me save this. Now we're going to go back to our database and we're going to insert an item with notes. So we're going to call this coffee. And item notes, this is what we drink to stay wake. Okay, and I'm just going to pick a random time here for today. Very good. That way I won't get shot an error. I'm going to hit go, and that should show up in our thing. Now, when we go back over here to look at the page that we created, I'm going to refresh that page. Parse error on line 149. Uh, unexpected string list T variable on line 149. Now let me see what that is. Line 149 uh, list. Hmm. Hang on, let me solve this. Okay, I caught the pretty simple mistake. If you'll look when I built this last item here, you can see there's a semicolon past each one of those. I didn't put one there. Sometimes it's the, the simplest little syntax errors that will just drive you nuts. Anyway, let me save that. Now let's go back to that page and this should disappear. The error. Okay. Uh, some comments, some comments, some com Okay, I see what I did wrong now. So, uh, yeah, I actually I deconstructed the uh, list notes thing. So I'm just going to take one of these here, copy it, and replace some comment with this. Control V. And I don't want list item, I want list notes. So we'll change that to list notes. Control save. Now our notes should show up in there, except that there are nulls, so I'm not sure I'm not going to get an error. Okay, so now what we have here is we have our bread, we have our milk, we have our coffee, and the only one that has a note behind it is this is what we drink to stay awake. That's the note that we just put in. So now we can see that we have made our uh, our data show up on the page. Now remember, we're going to change all this top and bottom as well. But now our data shows up on the page. We have bread, we have milk, we have coffee. Now you'll notice that these are linked. And let me show you back here what they're linked to. They're linked to 
when I constructed the list, that, which is echoed down on the main page, it's line item equal, or line item, and then there's a link here, ahref equals delete PHP. Now, we haven't built delete PHP yet, but we're going to build that next. And uh, lid, which is list ID, equals list ID, and then it calls out the list item, and then it, and it, then it ends your link. So therefore, this is linked to the delete page, which we're going to build next. But once we've built that, when you click on bread, bread will disappear. So when you click on milk, milk will disappear. When you click on coffee, coffee and all of this will disappear. So uh, stick around. Uh, next video, number six. And we'll put all this together and go from there. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And if there's anything that needs to be mentioned in the comments section, they'll be down below. And if you have any questions, uh, put them in the com comments section. And always look for, the, for any updates in the uh, uh, description. Thank you very much.